Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the sprinklers inside Rotary Craft. Um, but before we get into it, I um, just want to show you this. I've got uh, quite a few vines growing. Um, I got them from a, a jungle tree. Uh, <clears throat> why am I growing vines? Is because when you take vines or say um, just leaf blocks and you put them into the fermenter, to essentially get more uh, sludge, you get you essentially get two sludge um, instead of just one. Where if you just use uh, ordinary saplings, so um, that's why I've got the the vines over there. Yeah, it's a pretty decent hint if you want to double um, the ethanol production you've got going. Okay, so now onto it, we've got uh, essentially two sprinklers. We've got a ground mounted one. <coughs> Uh, which is pretty simple to make and the other one we've got is a uh, essentially it's a roof sprinkler um, it is cheaper however um, you do get four for the price of the materials the downside is that um, these ones uh, tend to take more water pressure to use uh, there are also the other added benefits of being able to sprinkle stuff from above where the ground one has to essentially be on the ground and you're essentially using up what space could be used for a um you know for plants okay um it's so basically what we're going to do is with a sprinkler you're going to need um a water source so i've already built a dc engine and a pump for this okay did i grab the levers yes i did and i'm just going to turn that on and we're going to fill up the the water now the ranges of the sprinklers are a maximum of eight meters and the range itself is uh, dependent on the water pressure so right now we've got 116 which is uh, quite a bit especially so uh, there's nothing else being used off this water system so I'm gonna just chuck the uh, sprinkler down there as you can see it'll start spinning around and you can tell it's working because the water comes out the it does spin it faster if you put more pressure on it. Um, you do have to be careful with these ones in that if you supply them with too much pressure, the, the water jets can actually hurt. Um, I'll link a video, one of my earlier ones from 164, where I actually use these things to essentially kill monsters. So uh, when let's just see the range on this. Uh, range 8 meters, since it's practically getting full flow pressure from just one pump okay let's go uh hmm, actually should i um should i go plant some plants do some peanuts or something okay so the main reason why you'd want a sprinkler is it does hydrate the water as you can see the grains getting hydrated there it also has a growth effect On said plants so it's similar to the sprinkler from um, extra utilities and I'm probably gonna fill the salt area with plants later on um, but let's get on to the other sprinkler uh, I'm probably just gonna run the water off this one okay Should probably just do it a little bit higher Oop, too close there we go Uh, a little bit further. Okay, that should be enough to get most of those crops. Gonna get the sprinkler out. Put that there. Let's see, how much range is that covering? Uh, where's my angular transducer again? There it is. <coughs> um, okay, and it's also doing 8 meters as well. So that's not all that much pressure, just being off one pump you could run it. Um, yeah. And as you can see, it's, it's hydrating. Um, they also do give a, you know, a boost to the plant growth as well. Um, what else should I say about sprinklers? Uh, I think that's about it for all sprinklers. Um, later on you can uh, put in fertilizers, which are similar to sprinklers, except they do the same. And you can put fertilizer and then they sort of fertilize plants as well. So, yeah. 
uh, yeah, <coughs> I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, let me down down below. Um, actually, uh, on one note, um, I think two videos ago I said uh, something about it. I was going to try and go for uh, some likes, and um, and we said, you know, could I go for 15, then I went 16, and the whole auction thing. It's up to 18, and I'd like to thank all of you guys for doing that. Um, hopefully, we can do similar with other videos as well. Um, yeah, and thank you for that. So, if you like it, like it. Um, and if you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe. I do these videos all the time. Thanks, guys. Ready, aim, fire.